What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today I want to get these uh, ugly grills painted, a nice glossy black finish. And I also got some uh, spacers from my other E90 um, that I don't use, I, they're just sitting. And I think they're the perfect size to add on here to fix this fitment a little bit because they're, they're tucking a little too much, you know? So we're trying to get that girthy look. So uh, that's what I will be doing today. I will be filming the whole thing. So yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, first off, I'm gonna start with the grills. It shouldn't be too hard to take it off. Just pop the hood, take a couple of bolts off, and then they're they're uh, on there with clips. So you just unclip those and then we can pull them out. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have to take these four. T20s, I believe. And then you can pull the bumper back and reach the clips really. So let me go get a T20 or 25, I'm not sure what it is. Let me go find one. Oh, never mind. T30. T30, guys. Ignore all the other things I said. So now we can reach back here and it's just little clips. All right, so now this moves super freely. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's literally just like these little clips right here. You just pop them out and they should come right out. All right guys, here they are. Somebody please let me know what this uh, previous owner was thinking when he was doing this. I don't know, maybe he was trying to do something and he didn't finish. I really do not know. But yeah, we're gonna get these painted all black. Just gonna give it a way cleaner look. So first I'm gonna go ahead and wash these up a little bit cause they're really dusty. So we'll wash it up and then we'll start uh, painting. Guys, so I did not know this, but you can take these apart. I, I don't think, yeah, on my E90, there's no way you can do that. I don't think there is. Probably there is, I just never knew. So yeah, these, the actual like kidney grill part is all black. Only painted part are these right here. So I took these off and I'm probably just gonna paint these. I don't know. I might end up just painting these too since they're chipping a little bit. But. Yeah, I'll probably paint these two actually. Alright guys, I got everything air dried. Now they are ready for paint. And I'll show you guys the paint I'm using. I'm using a Krylon. It has paint and primer in it. And it's gloss black. And uh, I think this is perfect. It says it's used for wood, metal, plastic. And it dries in 10 minutes. So this should be perfect for this little project here. All right, 
right, so it's been about a uh, 10 minutes ish. So uh, they're pretty dry. I went ahead and touched them. Oh yeah, they're really dry. So we'll go ahead and put on our uh, second coat. I'm probably just gonna end up putting uh, two, maybe three coats on these. And I put one coat on those. Since they're already black, I'm probably just gonna leave it like that, one coat. I might put another coat if I have enough paint, but yeah, probably three, co three coats here and maybe a little more on the actual Kenny Girls, so. So far they're looking really good and they're drying really fast. Alright guys, so while I wait for these to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, installing the spacers. I'm probably gonna jack up my car right now, take the wheel off, and yeah, put them on, see how they look. I got some sandpaper and I'm gonna clean down the surface just a little bit so the spacer uh, fits flush on there. Let's go do that real quick. Alright guys, we got the spacer installed and it is more than perfect. Literally, I couldn't ask for better fitment, honestly. These spacers were luckily the perfect size. Oh, she's looking girthy now. So here's after the spacer. And this is what it looked like before. As you could tell, a huge difference. Oh yeah, she gonna look way better now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm probably just gonna do like a time lapse or something. Since I already filmed this side, same process on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alrighty guys, we got this other side and oh my gosh, girth central up in here. Oh, she's thick, she's very thick. I think the backs put the fronts to shame now. <laughs> it's still pretty good. And these obviously will adjust a little bit. I think they're gonna go in a little more once I start driving. So they can break in a little. But yeah, she's looking good. Real good. All right, now these should be completely dry. Let's go ahead and install them back on and see how they look. These feel really nice and smooth. They came out really good actually, I'm surprised. Let's go ahead and put these back on. satisfying. All right, let's get it screwed back on. You guys remember what they look like before but nice and glossy and we got the wheels the spacers too i'm telling you guys it's the little things that make the biggest difference oh i can't get over this 
I love these rims too. I'm probably gonna keep them. They're stock OEM BMW rims. Oh, they look so good. Yeah, I'll probably get like, let me see, five, five or 10 millimeters in the front spacers. And yeah, I'm not gonna paint these down here because I'm getting a whole new M Sport bumper. And yeah, it's pointless to paint all that because the bumper is completely different. So in my previous video, you guys probably saw this bumper. Funny story about this bumper. Uh, it's actually, you guys are probably gonna think I'm stupid. And probably some of you guys already noticed this, but this is an, actually an LCI bumper. And I did not know there's like, I've had an E90 the whole time. I've never had an E92. And it's probably the same thing for E90s, but yeah, this is a LCI bumper. My car is a pre-LCI. And if I put this on, it's not gonna fit up correctly. And especially around the headlights here. I don't know if you guys can tell it like dips down here. And on pre-LCI they don't. So I'd have like a huge gap right there. Overall, it's a really nice bumper. Uh, not too mad because I got it for pretty cheap, but Hey, if any of you guys need a E92 pre-LC or LCI bumper, let me know. I'll sell it to you guys. Probably like 75 bucks. I'll give it to you guys. Just let me know. So yeah, don't judge me, guys. I messed up. I learned. And also, uh, let me know what types of bumpers I should get. Uh, I want to get one just like this. I like this. This is uh, M Sport. It looks really nice, except in the pre-LCI version. But if you guys have any other... Uh, suggestions better looking ones let me know I, I'm open to anything pretty much this build is mainly for you guys I bought this car for the channel so you guys decide what you want done on it and I will do it so yeah this is probably gonna be a little shorter video but uh, these are stuff that had to be done the wheel space is not really but I needed to paint those grills because they looked hideous before with the little unicorn stripes I don't even know what you want to call them but yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each one of you. Please comment down below. Let me know things I should do to this car because this car is for you guys. This build is for you guys. I got it for the channel. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry about all the bugs. I can't wait till it gets a little colder outside because all these bugs will go away. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys have these bugs in your state? They're so annoying. And they only come out around like 6 o'clock at night, 7 o'clock. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching like subscribe if you're not subscribed uh turn your post notifications on so you guys get an alert when i post and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out